Welcome, welcome. I'm Dee, and this is Single Mom Unguided Life, where I try to navigate through finances, motherhood, being single, and everything in between, and I bring you guys along for the journey to hold me accountable. This is my meal plan and grocery haul number four. This is the last grocery haul of my March budget. So let's get into what I plan to shop, cook, and eat for the week of March 21st. Sunday is going to be our discipline day. This is the day that we take control of our eating and we make good choices to start off the week on a good note on monday we're going to do turkey burgers and fries on tuesday we're going to do tuna wraps and you can choose any side that you want to consume on wednesday it's going to be greek chicken salad on thursday it's going to be sausage and sauerkraut on friday we're going to do air fried chicken wings and on sunday of course we're going to do leftovers and so let's go ahead and get into what I was able to pick up when I went grocery okay, shopping. So this is my mini grocery haul. I combined it all together versus being separated, but I'll tell you exactly what I got from each store. Starting with the first store that I went to, which was Aldi. So from Aldi, I was able to go ahead and pick up the two pound pack of the salmon. I am loving this easy prep item versus my fresh and cutting it up. And more than likely, I'll be opting for this when I go pick this up up until like probably around fall and then I'll go back into buying my first salmon and cut it up myself but right now we just don't have the time okay I picked up a pack of chicken wings I am in love with this new preparation of the chicken wings um, that I'm doing to air fry and so that's chicken wings has been on the <laughs> menu every week because of that but I am thinking about um, trying to the pescatarian diet um, or doing pescatarian, not just diet, but changing that as a lifestyle change. But I'm kind of on the fence because, again, I'm most of the fish, so I'm limited. So I really want to make conscious decisions about what I'm eating starting in April. Um, but we have figured this out. We still got a week into March, so let's finish this haul. I did pick up another rice cauliflower. This one was um, in Aldi. And um, usually I can't find it, so it's been hit or miss, but luckily they had a whole bunch of them. So I picked up this one, this is the garlic and herb one. I did pick up two of the broccoli florets, a dozen of eggs, the rice knot. Um, I just need some little sweetness to go with everything. Bananas, of course, with smoothies or on-the-go snacks. I did pick up the feta cheese, that's from Aldi, the super sweet great tomatoes. I prefer these in my great chicken salad, so I was glad to find these again. The two, I bought two avocados, and usually I don't need that many avocados in my home because I cut them in half and I um, eat one in one sitting. But to say the truth, I could eat it all at one time, but I'm just being conscious of what I'm consuming, okay? I'm on a mission. I picked up Oh, no. That's all I got from Aldi. I was about to <laughs> Let's talk about what else I got. Now, what I got from Food Lion. I picked up one red onion versus picking up the bag of red onions because we're not consuming them as much. We still like them. I still incorporate them in our meals, but I just haven't been using them as much based on what I've been cooking lately. I did pick up the pickle de gallo in Food Lion instead of Aldi because I didn't have it. Like I said, it's always hit or miss with that. So I did opt to go ahead and get the blueberries from Food Lion again because they tasted better. <laughs> it gave like a sweet tart taste. And literally, I was sitting at my work desk and just eating them, eating them. And I look like, oh, they're almost gone. So I had to go ahead and put them back. I went ahead and got a one pound. Um, one pound of strawberries because two pounds of strawberries y'all it was not sweet at all and I think we are approaching the strawberry season here in North Carolina I got to double check but more than likely I will try to pick this item up at the farmer's market or there's going to be a lot of pop-up strawberry stands from our local farms and I'm just going to pick that up and I actually did visit a, a winery that does a farm like farm sale in general and they're preparing their strawberries right now and um, she said that they'll be having a strawberry festival. So, yes, more local will be on my table during the 
spring summer months and lastly i picked up this turkey burgers i um subscribe to sam and cat and that's sam with two m's cat with two t's and they did a review of the butter bar turkey burgers but it was the season kind um they did not have that in my food line so i opted for this and i'm totally fine with that because you can always dress it up how you want it to um and it is a no thaw so you can do the freezer to grill freezer to oven freezer to skillet freezer to air fry however you want to let's see it has grilling rolling and skillet instructions um for you to be able to cook them um it per serving is one and six in here that's a huge ones but okay um that's 240 calories let's see 11 grams of fat the sodium is 510, which is not bad, and the carbs is 2 grams, and it gives you 31 grams of protein. So it says it's 70% less fat and got an asterisk, so more than likely it's less than 75% lean, 25% fat ground beef. It's gluten-free. So we're going to try these out because I'm going to tell you all the truth. Um... I just have not been liking preparing the turkey burgers from the ground turkey. I don't like the texture. The texture, like when I'm making it, y'all should see the face that I'm making while I'm putting it together. It looks horrible. So I'm glad to watch that video and finally be able to find some turkey burgers. I had some turkey burgers some eons ago that I didn't know were turkey burgers. So I was happy to find this and also next to it was the Bubba brand so if this doesn't work out for me I'm gonna try the Bubba brand and then we'll go from there lastly I did pick up some Italian sausage with, with the leftover sauerkraut I'm gonna put that together I'm the only one to eat sauerkraut in my house I am one of two individuals who use um who eat sauerkraut in the family it was myself my late mother so um she always made a small not with the hot because I got the hot this time because I can do the spice. She couldn't do the spice. Um, she used to just do mild. But um, she used to do the mild Italian sausage and sauerkraut and cook it. And she also made a small pot because it was just me and her that was eating it. And so I often buy the large jars of the sauerkraut. But luckily I found a, a small can. So I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way. Because like I said that it won't be consumed as much if I don't do it that way. So this is my mini grocery haul. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to be part of my village. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. To all my returning subscribers, thank you. Everyone hit that thumbs up. And please share that. Share this with your family, your friends, and your coworkers. Peace out.